चलती हैं एंड आई वांटेड द लास्ट 10 मिनट्स सो वी रिकॉर्डेड दिस एंड देन द रिकॉर्डिंग गॉट फक्ड एंड नाउ काफी बल गुजर चुका है बट स्टिल एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर अस टू डू दिस सो वी वांटेड टू जस्ट से अ फ्यू वर्ड्स व्हेन हनिया असलम पास्ड अवे लास्ट मंथ आई बिलीव अ बिट अर्लियर देन दैट लाइक if you don't know who she was uh, they they were this uh good usman and i have different reasons for just finding them as one of our favorite musicians to pakistan for a time um we had also spoken last time and you know usman i'll ask you to do that again about like not just who hanya has been as a musician across the different eras that she was uh, prominent in but personally also as somebody who uh, really was stand out in how kind approachable and wonderful they were to younger musicians to people reaching out to them in an industry which is like really really uh not that nice very very difficult for people to kind of find a footing in and extremely difficult for people who are not straight men and you know hanya i think one of the reasons that we both were really moved to say something was the fact that has that ability to inspire a very different feeling in you whether it was when you were meeting them as a person or just purely as a musician as well was fun you had like something a connection Usme, with that uh, album you know with the lost recording mein the the segue we had was a brilliant segue because we were of course talking about the mentors in the champions cup aur ek perfect segue tha ki this is actually how you mentor because you know you had personal experience with with hanya you saw her in the industry and you saw like and you know i just heard people speak about what an amazing mentor she was like you know and, and that's how you kind of picture mentors to be these warm empathetic people who who kind of teach you but don't overwhelm you with their knowledge and you know they kind of let you grow and let you do your own thing um but you know my, my reason for absolutely loving it was is a massive massive loss and i was reminded of it actually last night i'm i'm going to show off a little bit i went to the lost recordings album release of uh, nusrat fateh ali khan uh, and, and it was just a moment of you know just enjoying like pakistani music wherever I, it didn't matter that i was in you know in london or whatever but it it was great and and i was reminded of her loss actually and i and i remembered why because you know obviously nusrat fateh ali khan sahab ki jo main sun raha tha unki clips i I've, i've heard the album and the recordings and हम लोग बैठे हुए थे सिनेमा में एक लवली सिनेमा एंड देर वॉज यू ग्रेट सराउंड साउंड एंड विजुअल्स थे और मेरे रोंगे खड़े हो गए थे एंड एंड लाइक आई आई टेयर अप रिली इजली अलॉट एट लाइक स्टूपिड स्पोर्टिंग मोमेंट्स एंड स्टफ यू नो कोई अच्छा स्वीट सा मोमेंट होता है तो आई ट्राई एंड होल्ड इट बैक एंड ऑल बट इट हैपन्स टू मी विद म्यूजिक इज वेल एंड एंड देयर इन म्यूजिक इट्स मच मोर अनकंट्रोलेबल बिकॉज यू नो इन स्पोर्ट यू कैन काइंड ऑफ एक्सपेक्ट कि ये कुछ होने वाला है and you're like okay ab mujhe you know ye ek great moment aane wala hai mere sath ye hoga but in in music you don't so as i had that moment i remembered again why it was that i loved zeb and hania like my interaction experience of them was always as as a as a duo and ye tha ki main jab pakistan aaya tha 2002 mein yahi se england se aaya tha main pakistan and um you know musically i was very like kind of aware but it was very like western music you know yahan ke jo scenes the whether that was like uh, uh electronic music or trip hop or rock or whatever sab yahi ka tha mera like uh, i had grown up in the western music kind of thing i came back to pakistan and there were like you know there were fun bands that i followed like were nuri obviously at that time were becoming big and i downplay nuri so much ha huh? there were fun bands that i followed like nuri ki ek own apni pagalon ki cult following thi but they were all like at that time at least you know वेस्टर्न काइंड ऑफ म्यूजिक डेरिवेटिव और फिर मैंने इनकी जेब रहानिया की पहली जो एल्बम थी चुप वो सुनी पहली बार एंड आई वॉज ब्लोन अवे बिकॉज आई रेकग्नाइज समथिंग दर आई डेंट नो हेड एग्जिस्टेड बिफोर विच वॉज कि ये एक इंडिजिनस पाकिस्तानी म्यूजिक थी विच विच साउंडेड काइंड ऑफ लाइक इट साउंडेड लाइक मे इट मे हैव बिन डिराइव फ्रॉम इन्फ्लुंस ऑफ वेस्टर्न म्यूजिक लाइक यू नो साइमन गार्फंकल के chop especially always reminded me of that but the the more i heard it the more i identified it as a very very pakistani sound and it was the first album that i really identified as being and it you know it was played with guitars played with like western kind of music sensibilities but it was the first time that 
I, I heard and I thought, okay, damn, yeah, this is like, this is Pakistani music. This like, if, if people ask me, I'm going to go hey, what's Pakistani music like? And I'm like, well, I, I can show you this. And of course, you could show them Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan and all that stuff. Which, and, which hypothetical part of the world were you with? I don't know. Right? Like, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> from movie. Maybe like some bad Hollywood film or something. I end up on, a, I walk off on, on a set or something. But, you know, it was, it was Pakistani music. And yeah. it really like, it was just beautiful. Like out of that album and, and the the lyricism of it, like the lyric, there were some really strong messages, which at first I was like, wait, are they like talking about things that I think they're talking about? But yeah. I'm not sure. And I kept second guessing myself. I was like, nay, is it really maybe? And then people were like, nay, nay, kya no, no, they're just talking about love and all this. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. But it was amazing. And you know, songs like my, my personal favorite on that first album was Itbar, which like is a song that, you just listen to and us gaane mein actually i think hania ki jo guitar genius thi I, I don't know if it was her who plays the solo at the end but i always assumed it was her and, and not maybe umran shafiq who another i think friend of yours uh, but also good guy i think it was her with gumbi on the drums and it is just like phenomenal 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 and, and i was reminded again of it because a friend of mine sent me like one of the last recordings that hania had done uh just on whatsapp like a voice note and unfinished but just you know the moment i i played it i could tell it was her but i could also like know that it was like nothing i'd ever heard before that was the that was, i think that's what the sound unka jo sound thana was genius in that you felt like you had heard it before but actually it was like nothing you'd ever heard before and for that like you know kudos to her genius may allah rest her soul in peace like you know and, and deepest condolences to everyone who was close to her and worked with her and benefited from her presence but she like she really to me was just a, a downright genius uh in pakistan and she made my experience of pakistan inestimably inestimably better you know just by dint of her being a musician there i think uh, something that when i heard that album for the first time and it really struck me was that uh at that age and in that era there was so much obsession with like guitars and guitar solos and guitarists yeah. and you know yeah. like shredding bands yeah like i was listening to for the guitar ding and guitarist ka and falana and gama and 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 you know a, a lot of that kind of music always has this really interesting tension or collaboration between the the singer and the guitarist and whatever and you obviously saw that in zeb and hanya's work um but what stood out then and has then consistently like you know stood the test of time is that you know we discussed this before off camera like hania is easily like the top 3 greatest guitarists of in pakistani history that for me at least like you know and i think you articulated why it wasn't necessarily like, oh you are such a crazy fret or whatever because i don't know that stuff but it was being able to translate the guitar into a local vernacular so effortlessly you know yeah. like there was there was like yeah that's a key point yeah because you know like if i look at like someone like umran is a really effortless guitarist but it's very very blues inspired right like or you yeah. saw something yeah. like salman ahmed really or ruhel hayat much later on very differently attempt fusion and they're doing it with like you know Salman's bringing a lot of his like Zeppelin sensibility or whatever and or you know the hail is bringing a lot of intricacy to it or whatever with Hania it was just completely natural right and i think that was one of those things that unlike the 90s and maybe a lot of the music in the early 2000s as well where you got that idea that pakistan mein ye culture band culture rock culture wagaira shuru ho raha hai and so there was like you know bands like great bands you know or vital signs or strings or whoever you want to call from that era un sab ke albums mein kafi cringe ke sun ki gaani aur recording aur aisa bhi hoti thi like uh-huh. i think Beautiful. you know there was it took a while before like bands were able to perform like deliver kind of polished albums and even there like okay the production is better this is better but like it with we with chup but it was just like the sort of deputy of like how good the zeban and you were together but you know you saw that in their future collaborations and in their future solo work that they have this really great like hania ke jo ost usne kiye hain uske baad jo gaane kiye hain was this able to capture something where it was even if it's with this western instrument the guitar it did felt very very relatable it felt 
very much the kind of people that are hum log khud bhi jis kisam ke hain kya burger bhi hain magar aap desi hain aur wahan paida hue hain ye wo and you can see that with some people who are able to blend those different parts of themselves so comfortably and you I, see I, that i think you hear that in her music right like you can hear that blend happening I, very effortless yeah you know the, i i much prefer the word blend and i think that's much more fitting for her than than fusion hmm. fusion mein you know jaisi koi fusion bolta hai na music mein to mere खड़े हो जाते हैं रेडार के यार ये एक ये लेंगे और एक ये लेंगे और ऐसे करेंगे कुछ यू नो एकदम ऐसे मिलाएंगे और पीस पीस के कुछ बना देंगे वेर इज ब्लेंड इज मच जस्ट फेल्ट मच मोर स्मूद एंड काइंड ऑफ ऑलमोस्ट एक्सीडेंटली फिल्टर्स इनटू टू इच अदर्स एंड दिस दिस वाज अ डिफाइनिंग ट्रेट आई थिंक ऑफ देर म्यूजिक एटलीस्ट मी वॉज एंड आई एम श्योर ऑल क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस आर हार्ड एंड देर डिफिकल्ट एंड एंड दिल यू एंड लाइक यू नो इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू कम आउट विद स्टफ but the the genius is to make it sound or read or look completely effortless and light there's a lightness to it you know that's the thing and guitar shredders ke sath jaise jo pakistan ki famous era guitar shredders ya guitarists bhi ho aamir zaki marhum uh, i think faraz anwar was that am i getting that name right faraz anwar yeah like all these guys were like you know tortured dark souls who like took the guitar and made these weird dark, difficult sounds and here comes this genius like you say top 3 guitarist of the country and she just like these 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 melodies just flowed from her like they came out and i'm sure it must have been difficult of course it was but it, it, the beauty was just how, how light that whole process sounded like almost like you know she sat down like in zamam and played this like beautiful carefree innings without a care in the world or aise khela ye khela wo khela not not in zamam maybe mohammad yusuf actually the elegance wasim raja was my my thing with him rather or actually you know it's blasphemy to say this but somebody like joe root where like you 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 look up the famous well, i'll tell you why because the yeah, famous thing about joe root is going to get edited in the post anyways but <laughs> <laughs> no it's it's because the famous thing about joe root is that he comes out to bat and suddenly you're not paying attention and you look up at the scorecard and he's on 35 you know and, and then soon and then you start noticing and then he goes on to build like 100 or whatever it it was that kind of effortless ke aap notice hi nahi karte hain aur fir aapko thodi der baad ye ek thought strike karti hai ye khayal aata hai ki shit yaar that this sounds like genius this is amazing what she's doing and and that happens to me with a lot of their songs with a lot of zeb and hania songs i i think that was the yeah, thing but i we've really hit the nail on the head ke jo guitarist ki vibe or the sound that we in that era that we used to venerate was like this torture dark guy who's playing complicated things that are really yeah. extravagant and 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 uh, you know like in your face and then you've got uh, i i remember this my friend uh, zara had tweeted that zaben hania zaitbar is better than vital signs zaitbar and then twitter went crazy and then hania message is it, saying is it zara okay, pracha uh, zara malkani uh that's that's whatever it was so, she's 100% correct yeah right so uh, and it was i think obviously aitbar has all of the, the vital signs one has the all that nostalgic cafe but that you know but when you get down to it like that's one of those differences right where there's like aitbar is not by any means like some guitar heavy song or anything but again it's just no, like really no. unavoidable and like you know like uh and and but other songs that especially are guitar driven again are very extravagant versus you have this extremely talented person playing a lot of like you know like flourishes that show you has has the technical virtuosity as well but the music is really not focusing on like look at how amazing i am at this instrument yeah. is just hitting you directly right so it's like a, there's some things that you appreciate because you can see all the working then be like you're actually cool but then inevitably something that hits you even more is that it's hit you as you just said like you know you don't even realize that you were enjoying yeah. it and then you're like oh is that where i am right now and i think in that way yeah that's a great analogy that there was just not a, a, any any kind of you know look at me notice yeah. me look at this right now um, which also so the music that- is always the thing the music like the sound that you heard the mood that it created that was always the main thing like it didn't and matter i was going to end it with i was going to say that like okay, basically i think that because of that a that music particularly in that album 
was a lot more subversive without anyone realizing it. Like we just listened to all the songs <laughs> Mullahs would have like a field day uh, yeah. or Khalid Pur Rahman, whatever that kind of character. But uske saath saath, ye bhi tha ke, mujhe ek dafa YouTube comment thi ke somebody said ke Zeb's voice is like love and Hanya's voice is like truth. And it was an interesting kind of, you know, juxtaposition. But I definitely felt that, you know, that, that with that, with Hanya's music, not just their uh, their vocals, there's a lot of sincerity. And it's, I don't know how you make sincere music, but I feel I can tell when there's sincerity in music. Yeah, okay. I, mean, I just want to drop one of their lines from Itabar because it is the greatest song. And, you know, they made Coke Studio for me, by the way. The first three or four seasons, they had one song, Bibi Sanam Janam. They had... Uh, Pemona and, and Chupki version, which is a much jazzier and lovelier version even. I, it was impossible to improve that song, you know, but they covered their own song and they did better. But which I, I don't know, maybe it's a really obvious line or something, but I, I can never, like, it's one of my greatest lines of music in a song ever. Which is just like mm. a, it, that's like an F you, that's like I just the ultimate, whatever it is, I, I don't know what it meant. I've always wanted to ask them if I ever like, if I ever get a chance to speak to them, I'd love to ask them, okay, please tell me what it meant. Because I, I, as in how you meant it, I know what it means, of course, but how you meant it, how you came up with it, it's just the greatest, simplest line of all time. It's triumphant. It is just, it, it's just amazing. And it was stuff like that, you know, that, that always like stuck with you, like little things that they did, little things, almost like, like little hidden secrets that they put in their songs and everyone interacts with it in a different way to other, like, you know, I, I could say that about most of the songs on that album that I have like one little favorite moment in that song, which is just like my favorite moment. And it appeals to me for a certain reason and it may not appeal to anyone else, but I sure as hell would like to ask them how they created that moment because I want to know why it means like, you know, so much to me, basically. And and, and I, literally I can do that with almost every song in that album. Ek, ek aisa, where I'm just like, shit, yes, this is, this is for me. So again, you know, it's just the genius of, of, of her music making, the genius of her chemistry with, with Zeb and, and the stuff they did. And just like a massive loss, man. I, I was thinking about her and like the people that we've lost in the music industry in Pakistan, you know, Khan Saab was one, Nazia Hassan another. Now uh, to think that Hanya is no longer there, able to make, like just amazing music. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just a damn, damn shame. It uh, definitely is. And as uh, Swan also said, you know, prayers for her, for her loved ones. And um, I think, yeah, I'm really glad that we managed to come back to this because, uh, you know, somebody who just gave us a lot of joy and uh, an opportunity for us to say bye to them. Um, but yeah, this is where we're going to leave you as well. Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, and unintended Mizba tribute, an intended Hanya tribute, <laughs> and a lot more in between. We love uh, you, we'll catch you. Yeah, we'll catch you next week. Take care. Bye.